Today I want to give you the solution to my full page hotspots challenge which was inspired by the variable site where I can move my mouse anywhere on the page and trigger animations in the SVG and in the HTML down below. In my simplified example here, you'll notice that I have four divs that are highlighting when my mouse is lined up with them anywhere vertically on the page. Now this effect is also responsive and you'll notice that that max x value on the right is updating, okay? Max x is how far the right edge of div 3 here is from the left of my browser window. These flexible divs in the middle here have 100 pixels of padding on both sides, so my min x value is always going to be 100. And the max x value will always be the width of the body minus 100. Now being that none of these divs are triggered when I'm in these padding areas here, what I'm doing is I'm going to clamp my mouse x value between 100 right now and as I move all the way to the right, I'm gonna clamp it to the max X of 916. So that value will never get bigger than 916 when I'm over here on the right. Now, once I have that clamped value, I'm going to normalize it so that when I'm all the way to the left of zero here, my normalized value is zero. And when I go all the way across to the right of three, where my clamped value is the same as max X at 916, my normalized value will be one. Once I can convert my mouse X position to a number between zero and one, I can then determine which quadrant I'm in. Right now you'll see I'm in quadrant zero, and quadrant zero is anywhere between a normalized value of zero to 0 0.25. All right, that's the first quadrant. When I jump over to a normalized value of 0 0.26 or greater, we jump into quadrant one. When we get past 0 0.5, we're going to jump into the next quadrant, which is two. And guess what? When we jump past 0 0.75 to one, we're gonna be in quadrant three. For the clamped and normalized values, I used GSAP's utility methods and to determine the quadrant, I took my normalized value, multiplied it by four, and floored it. I got that with a little help from ChatGPT, but what you can see now is that I can be anywhere on the page and whatever quadrant I'm above will be highlighted. When I go to the right of quadrant three, three remains active or highlighted, and anywhere on the page I can select text and copy it and paste it. All right, I want to prove that I don't have, you know, a whole bunch of invisible divs covering up the entire page. It's all done mathematically. And again, if I take my browser window and resize, you'll see that max x changes. And as soon as I go above quadrant two, it's going to highlight, all right? And again, my normalized values here are gonna be between 0 0.5 and 0 0.75. Pretty nifty. And of course, I'll leave you this demo to explore, but if you want a line-by-line -line breakdown of how all the code works, definitely check out creativecodingclub.com, all right? I'll go through building this line-by-line -line for you, and this is just one of many lessons in this project. And in my course, Besides Bonuses and Oddities, where I have over 90 lessons that we've been going through weekly, I have a new chapter called Exploring the Variable Site, where we're going to start off looking at the site that we're going to mimic a bit. We have a lesson on building button hotspots, which allows us to make a graph like this that's interactive just by using buttons, okay, before we do the full page rollovers, we get that animation working nicely. And then we build what we call a single stage, which is that animation that you see at the bottom of the page that's in the HTML part. And once we build one stage, we're then going to build multiple stages and we can roll over these and you'll see that it gets really nice. And again, all of this we do line by line in my video instructions. Once we work on things isolated, we combine them. So now what we have here is a combination of the hotspots with the line animation and the various stages, okay? And we're just tackling what I just showed you now, which was the full page hotspots.
So I just love breaking things down step by step, line by line, so that you can totally understand all the little pieces that make up these more intricate interactive experiences. And yeah, they may not be as beautiful as the originals, but I want you to learn all the concepts. So if you're interested, check out creativecodingclub.com. I'd love to have you as a student.